Well, here we are. It's the first day of sheep season. The boys are heading up onto the hill, hoping to find some rams up in this valley behind us here. We've got Wes and Jeremy right there and Brady. Brady's going to help these boys get on some rams. So, uh, yeah, camp is um, right down there. We've actually moved camp, so we're in a pretty handy spot. So within a, hopefully within a couple of hours, we will be getting close to some rams. What do you think, Jeremy? Uh, I think you got a pretty good chance there. Gorgeous pretty optimistic. Country, yes, it is. Really pretty. So we're heading, heading up into this drawer up in here. We're hoping to find some rams just around that corner. So that'll be all good. We have hit the jackpot. Got some rams right up the hill here. Two weeks now. Well, we're opposite the rams. And we have determined that there is one legal ram there for sure. So I believe Wes is the first man up. <laughs> so we're gonna slip up this shale slide there and see if we can't get opposite them and get a whack at one. We're currently at 900 yards. We hopefully close the distance by 700 and get within 200. If so, I believe he'll be in big trouble. We're making the climb on the ram right now. Oh. He's just up over this hill. We should hopefully uh, get up onto the next rise and uh, he should be under 300. So, all going well. Wind's good. Last time we saw them, they were just feeding, so it's all good. Let's get on up there. Go ahead and take him when you're ready. You ready? Is, is there another one? Huh? Is there another one there? Brady? No. I don't have a bag. Well, hopefully though, you just take your time. Right there, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Just wait for him to stop. Okay, don't shoot while that ram's behind him. Okay, wait a second. Can you try to shoot him? Just wait for that little one to move out from behind him. Right there. Remember, aim a fraction low. Oh, 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 pack. Oh. Crap. We're oh. gonna have to go get that. I'll get it. Look, we'll be back in the pit. I'll go get it. Perfect. Well, at least it wasn't a person rolling down the hill, huh? <laughs> Wes is uh, first sheep. First, first doll. Out. First day out. First day on the mountain. Opening day of season. First shot. Yes, <laughs> indeed. With uh, what's the background with the rifle? My grandfather's old 308 Savage from that's he he was an outfitter a long time ago in the Bob Marshall. Pretty neat. Well, he'd be yeah. proud a of lot of old photos of him. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now you've got some photos with. Yes, him. I do. <laughs> that's awesome. He's a beautiful ram. Oh, he is. He's kind of. I've never, 
never even dreamed anything like that. He sure took a tumble down the hill. <laughs> oh, that's, I can hardly wait. That was awesome. It's a bit of a climb up here. Too. Oh, yeah, it took these... us a while to get here from where these guys about killed me. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long ways. Yep. I know them. I know you couldn't have got them guys up here. There's no way. No. But that is yeah. beautiful round. He's a good and solid you... eight years old, maybe nine. What's that? And um, yeah, he's over full curl, so it's yeah. pretty exciting. Oh, he's beautiful. Slightly broomed on that side. Oh, it's... That's Rock awesome. Marks. Oh, pretty. it's just beautiful. Yeah. Sheep steaks tonight. Pretty yeah. Ready. Good evening. <laughs> good. I can't believe these things are awesome. I can't believe how thick their neck is. And... They're big, solid sheep, aren't they? Yeah, they, they are. Solid critters. I can't believe it. I can't believe uh, how, how fuzzy they are. Yeah, they don't get cold up here. No, no, no I they, they must warm. stay up here year round too. Yeah, they do. Well, we got the ram loaded. The work is really beginning. <laughs> We've just come down probably about 700 yards of really nasty rocks. Quite dangerous, actually. But we are about to hit the uh, the easy stuff, and we've got about a three mile hike back to camp. Um, so yeah, it'll be dark here in about an hour and a half. So with a bit of luck, we'll roll in just before dark. It'll be all good. Got a lot of alders to push through, but um, yeah, it's downhill. Got to be good. My man's getting ahead of me there, so I better catch up. Well here we are, we've got a beautiful day today and we're heading up onto the hill for uh, another sheep, my new hunter Richard, right there. We're in the hope of uh, finding us a nice ram in the head of this valley. So with some luck we will find a ram. We've been going since about 10 o'clock this morning, I've uh, been going for about three and a half hours it is lunchtime we found some nice grass right here for the horses so we are gonna have a bite to eat something to drink while the horses do the same so uh, probably another three hours and we'll be in our spike camp so that'll be all good maybe we'll get in a little hunt this afternoon I'm not sure it depends on what time we get there but uh, otherwise we'll be uh, hunting all day tomorrow hopefully this weather holds out Well, we made it to Spike Camp. We uh, set up camp down close to the river. There's a bit of food down there, but I noticed this quite good area here that's full of grass for the horses. So I've uh, brought them up for a bit of a, a belly filling session before I picket them a bit later on. When the horses are picketed, they've got a 20, a 20 yard rope around their leg. So they're fairly limited on the amount of grazing they can do. So they really enjoy this where they can just wander around for a little bit and get the bulk of the feeding they need for the night done in 10-15 minutes and the rest of it will just be the icing on the cake for them. So yeah I'll uh, give them another 15, head down the hill and feed myself and Richard and that'll be all good. Looking forward to a full day on the mountain tomorrow. Wonder what's for dinner tonight. Mm. We'll have to check the menu out. We. Uh, are about ready to eat something for dinner. We have quite a selection here. <laughs> what uh, what interests you tonight? Uh, let's have uh, sweet sour pork with rice. Good choice. I really am quite the chef, you know. All that's required with this is boil water. <laughs> so uh, we just boiled some water in the old jet boil and just add the water, stir it, zip it up. Ten minutes. E Ten minutes later, you're eating. 
I should have been a chef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe not, maybe I'll stick to the hunting. Yeah. Well, if I'm not on top of the world, it certainly feels like it. Campers down there, it's probably six miles down there, climbed all the way to the top of the hill in the hope to find some rams. Usually see rams in this country, but not today. <laughs> some ewes and lambs up here, uh, probably about 25 of them actually but uh, unfortunately no rams, so certainly a nice climb for, a, for the view, but that really wasn't the reason I was coming up here. Uh, normally we do see rams in this country, but uh, I guess I'll uh, head back off the hill. Uh, it's going to take me a few hours to get back to camp and try a different drainage tomorrow, see how we go there. So certainly uh, beautiful weather. It's starting to get cold and the bad weather is starting to come in by the looks of things. Clouds rolling in. Hopefully it holds off for another day or two to give us the opportunity to find some rams. So yeah, we'll try again tomorrow. We had a pretty wet night last night. Yeah, um, been quite good. We've uh, woken up this morning and it's trying its best to clear up. Only thing is it's a little foggy. but. Uh, promising to be a reasonable day today so I'm sure it'll clear off we're just heading up into uh, the same creek where I got my ram um, a few years ago so with a bit of luck we'll uh, get lucky in that valley again got lucky and found some rams in this this draw. It's still kind of foggy but there's uh, I can see five rams. There's three together and one on its own and one on its own. So one is definitely legal. What do you think Richard? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, we're closing the distance on those four rams. They're climbing up into the bluff system right now. They're just grazing on their way up. They're heading up slowly. We're closing the distance on them, climbing up after them. Probably another 150 yards. And we should hopefully be within, uh, within 300 and be able to make a shot. Richard's coming up now. So uh, with a bit of luck he'll, he'll make a good shot. The old uh, breathing's kind of heavy at the moment, but uh, we'll give him a chance to get his breath back before we expect him to shoot. The wind's good, so they shouldn't wind us. And we've got some deep ground right here so they can't see us either, so things are looking good. Put another round and you shot just under him. He is the ram second from the second from the right. Okay. Second from the right. Walking up, walking up, broadside, right there. A little higher. Just to the just low and just left. He's now the lowest ram. He is the second from the lead. Second one from the right. Okay. He's the third one from the right. Sec second to the back. All right. One on the left. Do not shoot until he's broadside. You still got him? Yeah. He's in the back with the... Good 
You got him. Ah! Put another round in. He's down. Yeehaw. Well, here he is. Yep, living the dream. Living the dream indeed. Beautiful, uh, mature ram. He's he's eight years old. Past full curl. Fantastic. Yep. Made a great shot on him. Yep. Only the second day of hunting, which is pretty neat. I didn't make you walk around the hills too much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh, we're still fairly high. We climbed reasonably high this morning, but uh, it's a pretty easy carry out, so it shouldn't be too bad. It's probably only about a mile and a half back to the horses. So that's all good. Yep. Congratulations, Richard. Well, thank well you. Done. Thanks a lot. No, yeah. you're more than welcome. Well, we got the ram taken care of. The weather's turned really nasty on us. It's got all foggy and it's been raining quite a bit. Turn broadside there so we can see that ram loaded. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Great. it's pretty neat. We pretty heavy load and it's looking like the weather is just going to continually get worse. But uh, that's all right. The um, the, hunt, the end of the hunt really, we're just going to head back to camp and we've got a nice dry camp so that's the main thing and yep. uh, head back to base camp tomorrow. We've got probably about a six hour ride, five, six hour ride out on the horses tomorrow. So hopefully the weather will be a little better for the next hunt. Yeah, yeah, it was good though. <laughs> Living the dream. Good. Well, we're uh, we're heading out. The weather has really closed in on us. It's actually starting to get a little bit of that white fluffy stuff. <laughs> it's rained really hard last night, and uh, yep, she's got cold, and suddenly the white stuff's coming down. So I'm awful glad we uh, got our sheep because finding a white sheep in snow is extra difficult. So my next hunt's going to be uh, possibly a little difficult, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, we've got um, probably about a five and a half hour ride in not the most ideal conditions, but oh well, it's part of the Alaskan experience. <laughs> <laughs>